Hey, how you doing? This is Kitch, and you are watching me play a Factorio. I apologize. Um, I've been doing a lot of these recordings in a row right now uh, because I'm going out of town again. So I don't know if any huge giant... Uh, a lot of people have been suggesting doing something like this. Uh, basically, what I have is I have copper and iron coming together here and coming down. This could probably be increased for belt throughput and things like that. Um, let's go to... Uh, what do we need next? I think we need heavy armor. I have not researched that yet. How embarrassing. Uh, but anyway, we're getting copper and iron coming down in here. And the whole idea was, hey, why don't I get a lot more of this stuff and going down for the same belt? Sushi stuff. <laughs> the same belt. Uh, there's a couple problems with that. Um, one is the way these loaders work. Uh, eh... The way this has iron reserved right now, uh, I saw this in the C block playthrough as well. And uh, it's basically going to unload iron until all the iron is gone. So it's never going to just kind of alternate between copper and iron and, and do anything like that. Um, so we're kind of stuck as far as this is concerned. And eventually what's going to happen is this is going to probably fill up with copper. Uh, which is not optimal, which is not what we want. Now, we do have... A lot of iron down here. Gosh, so much iron. Uh, so one thing we could do is grab a filter inserter. And take that and run it. Um, instead, of, instead of doing this mess right here, which isn't helpful... Uh, what we could do is get that filter inserter on that right there. Can we power this without getting the beacon? We sure can. Um, and set U to copper. And uh, kind of do it that way. Uh, that would work. Uh, problem is, is for all of this, we're going to need basically a red belt of copper. And uh, at best, we're going to get half, uh, a little less than half of a lane of copper going that way. But I guess it's a little bit of a supplement and uh, nothing to really throw our nose at. Um, as far as other items, uh, that is going to be off the table because uh, I think that's really, we've got the output here. That's blocked. That's blocked. So really, that's the only place we can take something else out at is right there. Uh, perhaps if we had a loader mod installed, we could put another one going that way and get more throughput out. That might work. But uh, with the way the mod is right now, uh, that is not the case. Now, another thought that I had is we can reverse these. But I think I, think I tried this earlier. Uh, let's just double check this. If we reverse that and I put iron in here, uh, that iron's going to stay. Uh, the loaders will go in reverse, but the problem is is that the chests are one way. Uh, if we go down here, yeah, there's not going to be any iron in here. Um, so that's not a possibility as well. We've only got one going down. And uh, as far as not filling this chest up, uh, what we would need to do is wire basically these two belts and limit the output of these belts based on the contents of this chest. And uh, I don't think you can do that. Um, I don't think we can move signals up in between uh, up in between levels. And not even with bots, I don't think we can do it. Uh, there's heavy armor. Uh, what's the next in the chain? Modular armor. That's the one I was wanting. Uh, so yeah, I'm not... Uh, there needs to be there, there there could be a better solution for that i think uh even just getting rid of the loaders altogether and putting a couple of chests here would actually be preferable in my opinion uh but nobody asked me <laughs> but uh i i don't know maybe i'm looking at this all wrong like i said somebody could have suggested something that i'm completely missing here uh but the way i'm looking at this it's just uh it's just not going to work um, all right, let's see. What else do we have going on here? Uh, we could use some more plastic up here. Uh, probably could use some more stone and things. Uh, let me go and do that. Yeah, I'll just kind of go and do the rounds. Uh, we'll roll the intro, and I will see you right after.
I think we're at the point now uh, where we need to get advanced refining. Uh, somebody remind me that is the next research we need to do because uh, we're starting to need petroleum a lot more. I uh, got to keep an eye on those chests as well. Uh, my thought is, uh, since we're working on making modular armor, it might be a good time uh, to go ahead and uh, we can we can get. Uh, let's see, we need uh, we need the robot frames for the yellow science. Uh, so working on those would not be a bad idea. Uh, we also need we also need processing units. Uh, how many of those are we going to end up needing? Three factories making those. And low density structures. Uh, I think we can make those now. And uh, those are actually pretty straightforward. Copper, steel, and plastic. All things that we have. Um, so let's go ahead and start working on these um, batteries, steel, electronic circuits, and electronic engines. Okay, just looking around, it looks like we've got a lot of the stuff that we need over there. Um, what did I come up here for? I came up here to grab some steel. Uh, let's upgrade that box, too. Um, Now we've got a tank of lubricant right there. So that is actually pretty convenient. All right, so if we took uh, basically this setup, Uh, no reason why we can't just put it right there. I didn't look at uh, ratios on these. Okay, it looks like we only need two of them. Uh, let's see. Take that right there. Take that to right there. And you can go under like that. Okay, that gets you guys a moving. Well, actually, that never works out. Um, a reason why we just don't use this that's already here. Um, and let's see, we're taking water down, but we don't really need, uh, water down. Uh, modular armor is done. Uh, let's see, if we're working on robots, is there anything else that we should be looking for? Uh, do we need to, do we need to hurry to this? Uh, let's get robot speed and, uh, it seemed like there was something else I was going to go for that was really important. Must not have been too important. I probably need to get solar panel and all. Yeah, let's get let's get that stuff first. Uh, what else do you need? Uh, electronic circuits. Let's see. We had nope. Uh, we had 
these are probably going to be needed down here for things other than what we have going on. Um, so, man, I need to stop doing that. It's very, very disorienting. I mean, I guess one thing, oh, see, yeah, no, this is, this is what I was worried about right here. Uh, we're going to empty out. Yeah, we got a strong copper bias up here. Uh, but I mean, we can, we can manually handle that, I think. Would limiting this up here help? Um, let's see, 3,000, 3,200, is that what fits in there? Uh, enabled when, uh, we'll see if it helps. Uh, I'm not too optimistic that it will. Uh, plates. Uh, why am I not seeing plates? Okay, um, it's not there. It's not there. Okay, let's, okay, they show up there. Uh, it's 3,200, 1,600. Uh, why didn't I see those? Oh, they're right there. Uh, they were in front of me the whole time. I have no idea. All right, so those should shut off whenever that happens. And maybe that'll help down here. Uh, maybe it won't. Uh, we'll see. All right, what were we doing? Uh, we were running. We were running circuits. Uh, running circuits. This running circuits down here. Uh, you need to feed directly into let's see three of those Uh, is this gonna is this gonna work? Probably, but I think we'll have to use a red belt for it. Uh, no, that's not gonna work. Cause, well, do you need you do you need circuits? Yeah, you do. Uh, circuits, batteries. Steel. Yeah, there's no way that's going to work, is it?
Hmm. I mean, I know these have been made before. <laughs> I know I've made them. Um. Okay. Let's flip you. Pull you up. Uh, we can do a direct insert there. You can come in. You can come in. Uh, you go off of that way somewhere. We can have this line coming down, going across like that. Uh, lubricant comes in down here on the bottom. And hooks up here somehow. Uh, that's going to be engines, and then we needed, uh, need what, three of these? Uh, da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da. Uh, outside. Uh, you're going to be on the outside. This can come up like that. This will continue on. Like that. Like that. That's everything you need. And uh, yeah, we'll send that down that way and get a nice little thing of robot frames going. Okay, all we lack are circuits. We're just missing one of those there. Uh, combine that together. You got engines. You just need your circuits. And uh, then we'll need a box that is dropping batteries. Well, we can make real power poles now. I don't know why I'm just doing these. i uh, got to do something with all the wood, right? Uh, we have two batteries. And we should have some more up top. Uh, let's see. What else are we running low on? Plastic. Oh, I remember what I was supposed to research. Uh, probably somebody was shouting it at me. Uh, advanced oil processing. Okay, let's get that. Uh, a little bit of batteries, a little bit of plastic, uh, a lot of biters. Wow, I haven't even been looking. Um, are we close to filling this up? Pretty close. Oh, we've got a hole down here, too. Um, how are you guys holding up over there? Everything good? Looks like it. Uh, we're still getting resources, so I'm happy. Uh, what was I doing? Oh, I was refilling plastic is what I was doing. Plastic and batteries. To go right there. 
Fantastic. All right. Um, let's see. Can I make modular armor? I sure can. Can I make some portable solar panels? I sure can. Uh, and that'll take a little while. Uh, next, we need to research uh, personal RoboPort. Personal RoboPort. Where is that? Uh, can we not research that yet? We can't. No, that's Personal Robot Mark II. Ah, right there. Okay, that'll be our next one. Priorities, we will have robots finally. Uh, well, thank you very much for watching. I really appreciate it. I will see you in the next episode. Have a good one.